Hello and welcome to the seventh and possibly final update of the Pilford paintings. We will be visiting three locations in this update. The first being Lloyd's of London. Mr. Peters, we understand Lloyd's is the insurer of the De Kuypers. That is correct. On June 12th, Joseph Armitage took out a short-term policy on the two De Kuypers. What was the amount of coverage on the policy? £100,000 for each painting. I then went to Brussels with Armitage to pick up the paintings. There we met Pierre Donnet, who signed the Certificate of Authenticity. What transpired after you returned to London? I delivered the paintings to Armitage's gallery. After the auction, the National Gallery continued with the same policy. The second location will be our old friend Hiram Davenport. Well, I suppose it would not be a breach of etiquette to tell you that I arranged the auction of the paintings with Armitage according to the instructions of a Brussels lawyer, Mr. Alan Knorr. Do you know who retained Mr. Knorr? Well, I, I believe it was a, a Pierre Donnet, although he did seem to want to keep that very quiet. Interesting. I don't believe that there is an Alan Knorr in here. No, there isn't. So the last location that we will visit is the ninth and final key location for this case, and that is the Carlton. Sir Herbert, were you not one of the bidders at the Armitage auction? I was bidding for someone else. For whom? Can't tell you that. If they wanted to be known, they wouldn't have hired me now, would they? What was your relationship with Brady Norris? We went to Oxford together. What of it? Was he a student of art there? Yes, and a rather good one, too. Uh, Brady and I once discussed opening our own gallery. For me, it would have been a mere business venture, but for Brady, well, he always wanted to control an enviable collection. Well, that he has realized his dream. As curator, he certainly must do that now. Not really. Everything Brady does must be authorized by Sir Simpson. And there we have it. So we can now actually take this case to the judge. And the judge will ask us six questions. Namely, who was the thief who stole the paintings? Who put the thief up to it? Why were they stolen? Who killed Matthew Cole? What was Pierre Donnet's involvement? And what was Sir Kaufman's part in all of this? Anyway, voting is open. We can still visit more locations if you want to, but I'm pretty certain that the next update will be the final one with the court's judgment. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.